I'm Eric Hastings and welcome to one of the most visited cities in the United States. This is Las Vegas. Each year around 40 million people visit this iconic destination and it's a city that hasn't stopped growing since the first train arrived in 1905. The legendary Las Vegas Strip is home to ultra-famous casinos and resorts. It's also where you'll find award-winning dining, world-class shopping and unexpected attractions. We're starting our Las Vegas journey on Las Vegas Boulevard, affectionately known as The Strip. This is the south side of The Strip. Right behind me is one of the most recognizable resorts in the world. This is the MGM Grand. Also in the neighborhood, you'll find Excalibur, Tropicana, and New York, New York. While you're in the neighborhood, be sure to stop by New York, New York. You gotta ride the roller coaster and you have to get one of those world famous dirty water hot dogs. Also, see the lions at the MGM Grand and make sure to see the sharks at Mandalay Bay. What does $8.5 billion buy you? This, it's the largest private development in U.S. history and it's called City Center. Let me show you around. City Center is conveniently situated on 67 acres right next door to Bellagio. It includes the 61-story Aria Resort and Casino, luxury non-gaming hotels including Las Vegas' first Mandarin Oriental and Videra Hotel and Spa. Veer Towers and Crystals, a 500,000 square foot retail and entertainment district. Make sure to stop by or stay at City Center. As you make your way up the strip or north, you have to get your photo in front of the world famous Bellagio Fountains. It is pretty spectacular. The remake of Ocean's Eleven made these fountains infamous. The only thing more spectacular than this aquatic display is the Bellagio itself. Bellagio Las Vegas opened in 1998 and has been awarded AAA's highly coveted Five Diamond Award every year since 2002. Trivia time people, does anybody know what's written on the back of that famous Welcome to Las Vegas sign? Well, I'll tell you at the end of the video, no Googling. It used to be in the old days, when you stepped off the strip, you were forced to gamble in places like Mike's Motel and Casino. <laughs> Do we have a picture of Mike's? Did we? Oh, no. Look at that. That's terrible. Look at the pool. Oh, I would never stay there. Well, not these days. When you step off the strip, you'll find places like the Hard Rock, the Palms, and a local favorite called Terribles, where the staff and service are anything but terrible. As you keep heading north, you'll find legendary properties like the Mirage, Treasure Island, the Venetian, and Stratosphere, but we are heading downtown. No matter how long you're staying in Las Vegas, a stop to Fremont Street is a must. That's where you're going to find legendary properties like the Golden Nugget, Binion's Horseshoe, and of course, Four Queens. Welcome to Fremont Street. The hotels and casinos like Binion's Horseshoe and the Golden Nugget may have an old school feel, but they're definitely state-of-the-art experiences. And man, don't forget about the Canopy Show. It is spectacular. Whether you care about casino gaming or not, seeing a show in Las Vegas is a must. But don't take my word for it. I think that Las Vegas today is the most diverse that it's ever been in terms of entertainment possibilities. So let's review. Downtown, on the Strip, or off, Las Vegas has a tailor-made vacation just waiting for you. My travel doctor says take two three-day trips every year and don't call him in the morning. I'm Eric Hastings. That's what I got. Well, I'm getting a little dizzy. Watch out, watch out. Is there a giant lion behind me? I've started to get a little dizzy. I'm getting dizzy right now. I'm doing it. I'm getting dizzy. God, filming for Hooter TV. I'm looking for Carson Daly. He's skinny, but he's funny. <laughs> 